Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And Google might have stopped updating the Google Pixel 2 XL, but we still have awesome great developers who have brought us Android 13 for the Google Pixel 2 XL, and that is what we are going to install in this video. Now, super important thing to note over here is that you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Make sure your batteries charge at least 50 to 60 percent. Also, make sure that you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. And last but not the least, do note your device needs to be repartitioned for you to install this Android 13 ROM from Pixel Experience team on the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now, how do you unlock the bootloader? How do you repartition your device? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. So this here is the Google Pixel 2 XL. Right now we are running Android 12. First thing I recommend you do is you will go into settings, then you will go into security. Remove your fingerprint, screen lock, face unlock if you have those set up. Then we can go back and we will go into passwords and account and remove the Google account associated with your device. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are switching roms and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into bootloader mode so press and hold the power button or you can always swipe down and press this power button over here and here and we're going to select restart and on the next screen you need to select system as soon as the screen goes blank you need to press and hold volume down again as soon as the screen goes blank you need to press and hold volume down and that is going to make sure that we boot into our fast boot mode now this is how fast boot mode is going to look like and at this point the next thing we need to do is we need to connect our phone to the computer using a usb cable so here we are on the computer now the first thing you need to do is download your adb and fastboot for whatever platform you are using either using windows mac or linux next thing you need to do is download your rom itself and this here is pixel experience android 13 for the google pixel 2 excel so you have to select download build this is going to download the rom itself and then you have to download the recovery image as well this is going to download a dot img file next thing i recommend you do is place all these files inside one folder so this here is our recovery image file for the google pixel 2 xl for android 13 then you have platform tools so this is your adb and fast boot for windows and then you have the rom itself this here is your pixel experience android 13 for the google pixel 2 xl next thing you need to do is you need to unzip this platform tools so either you can use the inbuilt archive extractor for windows or you can use winrar i am using winrar over here i'm going to select open and for the trial i can close the trial and then i'm going to say extract to and just select ok over here so this is going to extract the contents of this file and now i have a folder over here which says platform tools windows if i go inside this i have another folder which has my adb and inside this very folder i also have fast boot next thing we go back to our main folder where we have all the files which we had downloaded now we're going to select these two files over here which is your pixel experience timen now timen is the code name for pixel 2 excel so we select these two files and then we are going to say cut 
and we will go inside our platform tools folder where you have adb and inside this very folder you also have fastboot and we are going to right click and paste these files over here so now inside the folder where you have adb and fastboot you have your android 13 for the pixel 2 xl this is your pixel experience rom and you have the recovery image as well within this very folder now the next thing we need to do is we need to open command prompt or mac and linux users will open terminal so for windows it is very easy we are inside this folder where we have adb fast boot the rom itself and the recovery image go to the address bar select over there as in you need to do the left click from the mouse make sure everything is highlighted and selected and then you need to type in cmd once you type in cmd press the enter key and this is going to open command prompt in this specific folder first thing we need to do is we need to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and do note that the device is connected in bootloader mode to the computer using a USB cable. The first command you're going to enter is fastboot space devices and then press the enter key. And there it is. You can see my device is being detected in fastboot mode. Now, in case your device is not being detected in fastboot mode, that means you do not have the drivers installed. And again, videos on how to install the drivers can be found in the description of this video. The next thing we need to do is we need to flash the pixel experience recovery onto our Google Pixel 2 Excel. So the command for that is fastboot space flash space boot space and then the name of the file. Now instead of typing in the whole name, I recommend you just take this file which is over here and drag and drop this to your command prompt. This is going to plug in the full path and all you need to do next is press the enter key once you do that it is sending to boot underscore b in my case in your case it might send it to boot underscore a both of those are absolutely fine so at this point we have successfully flashed the pixel experience recovery to our google pixel 2 excel and the next step is to boot into this specific recovery which we have just flashed so for that we'll have to move over to the phone so here we are on the phone the phone is still connected to the computer but at this point you can disconnect it from the computer and here is the screen you should be on now if you press the volume buttons you will switch between the different options now herein you need to make sure you are in recovery mode option and then we are going to press the power button to select this option so again switch between the different options using the volume up or down keys once you see recovery mode you need to press the power button and at this point our phone should boot into the pixel experience recovery which we have just flashed on our google pixel 2 xl now the boot up into recovery might take some time so you have to be patient but here it is we have successfully booted into the pixel experience recovery now once we have booted into the pixel experience recovery you have to use the volume buttons to switch between the different options and then you use the power button to select an option so make sure that factory reset is highlighted and selected and then press the power button then on the next screen we have format data slash factory reset it is highlighted by default so press the power button and then volume down format data is highlighted and selected press the power button and at this point it is going to format the data now as you can see format data was performed without any issues everything went pretty smooth at this point tap on the back arrow then we will go volume down make sure apply update is highlighted and selected then press the power button and then apply from adb is highlighted and selected press the power button now at this point we are in adb side load mode and there it is now send the package so connect your phone to the computer one more time using the usb cable so here it is we are back on the computer now 
here in we are again still in command prompt now the first command we are going to type in is to check whether our device is being detected in side load mode or not and the command for that is adb space devices press the enter key and as you can see on your screen right now the daemon was not running they are starting it and you will notice that the device is being detected and it is in side load mode next thing all you need to do is side load the pixel experience android 13 rom on the google pixel 2 xl so the command for that is adb side load and then the name of the file again as easy as dragging and dropping the rom itself so this here is our pixel experience android 13 official build for the google pixel 2 xl we drag and drop it and the name and the full path have now been plugged in and then the next thing all you need to do is press the enter key and at this point the side load process has begun and it will take some time so you have to be patient now in certain cases what might happen is that the process stops at 47 percent and you will get total transfer 1.00x on your computer the super important thing to note over here is that on your phone you get step 2 of 2 so as you can see on my phone i'm getting step 1 of 2 step 2 of 2 as long as i get this message step 2 of 2 done that means the process has finished successfully and at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer and then we can go back over here and on the next screen all you need to do is make sure that reboot system now is highlighted again if it is not highlighted you can use the volume buttons and once it is highlighted press the power button at this point our phone we have successfully flashed pixel experience android 13 on this google pixel 2 excel and pretty soon we should have the pixel experience boot animation followed by the initial setup so here it is we have the google logo and then we have the google boot animation on our pixel 2 excel and then we should have the initial setup screen so here it is welcome to your pixel now let me skip the initial setup real quick and here it is we have successfully skipped the initial setup and as you can see android version here is 13 which means we have successfully installed android 13 pixel experience on the google pixel 2 xl the code name here is diamond and that will do it for this one